Welcome, this is a game brought to you by Piece of Pie Software and is available for free download. Simply find a link in the video description to the advertisement video which will contain the link to the free download. So if you're interested in playing this game for yourself, take a look, and we hope you enjoy. Hey, how goes the recruiting? Hmm, looks like we have nine recruits so far. Have you even tried yet? Sorry. Wait, what's that I see wiggling in your pocket? Huh? Oh, you mean these tentacles? Oh, lovely! Mind if I have them? Oh dear. Hmm, well, okay. Thank you, I'm sure I'll find some use for them. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Just want to chat. So, how's things with the new guy, Alcadera? He's proving to be very handy to have around. Handy, eh? Oh yes, very much so. Okay, that's enough of that. Sorry for landing on you. Sorry for landing on you like that. The car is a little fast. Yeah, I disabled the brakes so that you would crash. It was hilarious. Thanks. Got me a face full of dragon boobs. So we're always allowed down here to talk to you now? Don't get too excited. I'm keeping locked up after we're done with Microsoft. But until then, yeah, feel free to come down for a chat anytime. And finally, what can I do? Could you remind me what all I should be doing? Really? Close the portals while looking for Pops recruits. New Pops recruits to prepare for the war. Okay, so that's all the main stuff. Anything else that would help? Hey, now that you mention it, there are a few more things you could do. Oh! <clears throat> Monkey infestation, oh no. Those damned monkeys! As you know, they seem to enjoy breaking into our storage rooms. This causes structural problems and losses of materials. The guys who work down there have recently reinforced the walls, so that helps. But most of the storage rooms have been broken into. Those pesky monkeys have probably filled them with traps and may be patrolling in there. I've had to lock and seal all of the storage room gates to prevent further breaches. It'll be dealt with at some point after Microsoft, but if you're looking for something extra to do, feel free to do what you can. Especially if you can find the holes they've entered through and close them back up. I won't get rid of the ones they've the ones already wandering the rooms, but it's a start. The computer in your office has access to all the gates in the basement. You can only open one gate at a time, and the computer will give directions to each one. Anyway, in case you do go down there, take some of these. You'll need them. Basement key, times four. Thanks, I'll certainly think about it. God. Mutated coffee. Ah yes, that old experiment. The original one was a disaster, but this time I think I have it right. If you can find the four final ingredients, I can finally finish the experiment. Five for five, fine for new. Ooh, sounds like it could help in the war. What are they? They are a giant potion, a wrapped sweet, a telescope, and some cool shades. I think I might have at least one of those, but I'll keep my eyes open for them. Thanks. Anything else? And finally, train Clive. Okay, I'm not a mean bitch, but Clive needs some training to reach his potential. Why, bitch? Oh, no. If he can lose some weight or learn to control his weight... What? If he can lose some weight or learn to control his weight, that will help. <sighs> but if I see food, I must eat it. And that's why I have a plan that might help. Next time Clive sleeps, end his dreams and train him from in there. Any food he sees will merely be dream food and will not affect him physically. If he can learn to control his cravings, he'll become even more powerful. And his dream? Do I sense some kind of new invention being revealed? Yes! It's the dream headband. Put it on somebody's head while they sleep to enter. Whoa, cool! I want... I get. There you go. Good luck and have fun. Anything else? No. No. Right. Yeah. So we've got a lot to do. Now, as of this moment, oh yeah. Also, I forgot. I forgot to tell you when was a new bit. Basically, um, yeah. Or well, everything since this the start of this recording session. Basically. Basically, every th everything since the start of part fifty-five is new, never before seen in video. 
There you are. Oh, hello there, Bogster. I'm just here to give you those portable ATFGs that you'll need to close those portals. Oh yeah, hmm. 35 should be enough. Wow, it's been that many. 35? Okay, here you go then. You just happen to make that many? Just place one near any active portal and leave it there. You can then even turn them on and off if you need or want to go back in for some reason. Oh, how very handy! I mean, just how very handy. Thanks, Boggy. See you later. These must be skillfully made to recognise a Pops member trying to use them. Otherwise, just anybody could turn them on and off. And that would be no good! Anyway, yeah. Um, the monkey infestation. As of this moment, there's like a week left until I release this game. So, I'm actually going to leave the monkey stuff until after the playthrough. I'm going to make them a sort of extra episodes, I guess. Or just sort of things at the end. I don't know. I don't know yet, but basically look in the video description, I guess. If you want to um, go to the monkey infestation videos. The first part of the monkey infestation videos. But yeah, they'll, they'll probably be at the end of the playthrough. At least that's my plan. It's just that I don't want to get into doing them now because they all take so long and I just you know I know they work so I just kinda want to play the rest of the game and get that done before release so yeah we can at least start it for now I'm gonna do one room just to sort of give you the general idea of it but yeah this computer of mine has everything on it hey what's this a device and a note hey Paul Boggy recently finished a project and I've, I've had him working on re lately with the recent monkey business down in the basement, I figured you might be wanting to explore down there more thoroughly. If so, take this device and use it if you end up getting lost down there. And if you haven't talked to me about the monkeys yet, just come down here and ask me, a Mariala. See, this is why Pops is the best. Awesome new gadgets all the time. It is cool and I wish I could work here. Me and a Mariala can give you an interview if you really want to join. But after we do it with Microsoft. Escape Zor. What a rubbish name. Right. I can also control the gates for the storage rooms in the basement from here. I'll open one. Just need to input the number of the gate that I want to open from 0 to 26. 26? Blimey. Right, 0. Energy crystal storage. Directions up, up. Up the ziggurat. Zig ziggurat? Lickety split? I don't know. Is it ziggurat? I don't know. I don't bloody know. But anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to get this out of the way now. Now then. Oh, wait. There was one more thing. No, we'll do it on the way out, as long as I remember. I do need to get a map open, though. And, uh, here it is. Gate number zero. Hey, look, a save point, just like in RPGs. Which this isn't. Right, so here we go. And uh da, 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 na, 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 na. No, it's not Metal Gear Solid. Here's the map. There's a map for each room and they are included with the guide. They are very helpful and I suggest you use them even if you don't want to use the guide. Or well, you don't have to, but anyway. Breach. You've got the the legend here, as in it tells you what what means what. There aren't actually any monster chests in this room, but basically, any yellow circle means it's a chest, but opening the chest makes you battle a monster before you get your reward. But here we just have normal items. A red line means a locked door, which means you need to use a basement key. A red squiggle means it's a jammed door, which means it's just useless. And a yellow line means it's a trapped door, which means you can freely open it, but it's a trap, so yeah. Let us begin. The main thing you want to be going for in these is the breaches. That's the main thing. The rest is just bonus stuff. Stupid darn monkeys. And unfortunately, a lot of these monkey battles have things to steal. Oh dear. This one, however, doesn't. These are weak. 
but in regard, well, they're weak HP wise anyway. Gosh, it's just stunning. Oh look, basement key is dropping everywhere. And yes, if you look at um, the statistics, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, um, monkey breach is closed, 1 of 22. So there's not a breach in every room. Oh my god! But um, yeah, there are quite a lot. So, let's go and get the two treasures that lie in wait shall we? And then I'll leave the rest until after the playthrough. Unfortunately this is the only door into this place, but it's very worth... Excuse me, I think you have something to steal, don't you? If not, I'm gonna run. Maybe. How annoying! Yeah, you do. I don't remember what though. Oh. You put the healer to sleep. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, I'll just cut it out until I got it. Super sword. It's not really worth it, but you know, if you want the achievement. Die! You don't have to finish the battle. To keep the steel, but you might as well at this point. Yeah. Yeah, you might as well. Anyway, thanks, we might have needed one of these babies. Yeah, energy crystal. Thank you, Gumshoe. Right, there's a chest in there, taunting me. No, pee off, you have nothing. Unfortunately, he's fast. Okay, seriously, pee off. Right, open door, trap door, ow, and open door. Oh, a bottle cork, it's useless, just sell it, it's rubbish. And yeah, that's about it here. There is other stuff that you can like look at, like that, that vase in there. I don't think you have anything, do you? Let's have a look. Nope. So fudge that. I'm off. But yeah. <clears throat> it's no point. A very random pot with nothing in it. Wait, there is something. Air! It's messed up my hair! That's just not fair! Yeah. There's just a bunch of random things. There's nothing interesting other than the... well, might be interesting. Can we get out without another battle? Yes, we can. Word.